Boom tack, boom tack, boom tack, boom tack. Beating the fuck out of him with broom. Boom attack, chat. Hello, I just wanted to thank you for clicking on my video, and I wanted to let you know, not only do I create content on my YouTube channel here, Class in the Glass, but I'm also on Twitch, where I play single-player games, multiplayer games, I do movie reviews, cartoon reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, it would be a big help if you can check out my Patreon, where you can gain access to uh, audio commentaries, reactions, and the ability to submit questions for my podcasts and video cast. And all that content can be found in the links below. In the meantime, enjoy the video. Video. Hello everyone, welcome to my audio and video commentary to one of the greatest American slasher films of all time, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I realize I have to be more specific because many of the entries in this franchise are just called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's the original one, Chad, the original one directed by Toby Hooper that came out in 1974. And I gotta say, Chad, other than this film, the only other entry in this franchise that I actually do like is the 2003 movie. Um, yeah, a lot of the other entries in this franchise I'm not particularly a big fan of, but this one always holds a special place in my heart, you know. Obviously, when you think of the, the slash movie that popularized the subgenre, it was, you know, 1978's Halloween by John Carpenter. And the one that kind of started all, people debate which one was the, the one that really truly started, but a lot of people look to, you know, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, of course. But this one kind of came in between, and it was a trendsetter, Chad. I mean, when this movie originally came out, it, it was uh, it, it critically mixed reception but commercially very successful and very uh, had a very low budget i think about like somewhere between like 80 and like 150 thousand uh dollars chat so performed very very well and in retrospect it's viewed as one of the you know the great films in the 1970s one of the great horror movies of of all time but it was a, a trend center in a number of ways. One, just the use of power tools as weapons of murder beforehand. We think of a lot of such movies before this one. And, you know, just in general, uh, you know, knives, machetes, that kind of thing, bladed weapons. This one uses, you know, power tools. This one uses chainsaws, chat. And also other tools like, you know, hammers and things, you know, uh, uh, weapons that, would, that you use for bludgeoning. You know, uh, that's what this film kind of started. And there's a lot of other things I really appreciate about this movie. One, because, you know, one, a lot of slasher films, when you think about them, they have a... You know, they, they, they're particularly dark aesthetic. They're usually set at night. Like, this one is set in broad daylight. It's also set in Texas, you know, which I think at the time was, you know, very unique setting for a lot of horror films, you know, instead of, you know, most of them being set in, like, oh, the suburbia, the middle of America. So I like that. Um, yeah, it, it just had a, it has a, an aesthetic that I think that works and stands the test of time and one that is that was certainly very unique for when this movie originally uh, came out. And so... You know, uh, I, I think it, it, it's still a, a great movie, an amazing movie. The rest of the entries in the franchise, not so good. I like the 2003 remake a lot. I think that one was, that was, that's to me like the second best and everything else. I know a lot of people love Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I was not a big fan. It's a little more comedic in nature. And it just didn't work for me. And then all the other ones that I'd seen, three, there was the one with Eagle Mortison, I think, one with Matthew McConaughey, I want to say. And then they've completely, they've totally done, they've done multiple prequels and reboots and requels, hard to keep track of them. Well, most recently, uh, I saw 2022, so I'm doing this audio view commentary in 2022, and they did the they did Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is a requel, direct sequel to this film. That's one of the worst movies of the year, in my opinion, chat. So let's, let's, I'm going to wash my, my mouth of that particularly nasty taste. And let's go ahead, chat, and enjoy the wonderful, delicious, bloody taste of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a 1974 film directed by Toby Hoover. But before we do so, chat, we need to get sick of each other. So when I go three, two, one, start. You start on start, got him? All right, chat, here we go. Three, two, one, start. Help me, help me, I can't get up. Life alert! Oh, it's your piss cup. Give me that goddamn piss cup! Oh, no! Oh, yeah, so this place is fucking gross, if I recall. This is, there's this one shot of this cow just snot and just, just, I don't know, mucus or something coming out of the... Yeah, there it is! Oh, it's so gross, I hate it! Don't pick him up, don't pick him up, don't pick him up! What are you doing? Hey! Hey! Hey. Where are you now? They don't send the hedge away. You took these, huh? Yeah. You just keep these pictures just for. Why did they fuck? Did they pick this man up? What the hell's wrong with you, you dumb kids? The muscles and the, and the eyes and the ligaments and everything. 
Ah, it tastes good. It's good eating now. Woo -wee. <laughs> hey, you guys chose to pick him up. Are you okay, dude? Sorry, I just want a little snack is all. Yep, that's a camera. Taking pictures of that. Ah, take pictures of my food. <laughs> it's like one of those goddamn influencers chat taking a picture of their meals and putting it on Instagram. <laughs> Here it is, the 1974 version of that. Oh Lord. Two dollars. It's a good picture. No man, frankly, give him back the damn picture. I would pay him. I would pay him. Like, yes, very good picture. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, dude. Good, sir. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, I knew that was happening! Man, yeah, what'd you expect? God damn them and their fucking legs! That's, you know that's what he's thinking. Walking around and shit! Keep spitting. <laughs> Gets him. Just hits him over the head, and that's it. And I love that is like he's like the nerves. So the, oh god, Nick, they're still going. Jesus Christ! And just that door just slamming shut. Man, Toby Hooper loves the booty butt shot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, here it is. Oh God, just just bones everywhere. <laughs> the scream of the chicken. The game. Help me! Help me! <laughs> Get out of here, bitch! Oh <laughs> Just keeping all your shit in the open. Chicken's like, hey, you see this shit? It's fucking nuts, right? Trying to get out of here for years. Oh, he's coming for you. And just like, just like Leatherface's scream. That, hee, hee, something like that. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you know, all in the day's work. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, there, yeah, there she is. Got him. Yeah, there it is. I'm trying to keep him in the meat fresh, chat. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, dude? <laughs> He's like, what a day! I, I, I had to kill like three people. Oh, he's looking at that chicken. Oh, God, those teeth. Oh! Yay! Fucking might as well be running a goddamn dinner bell. Come eat us! We're finger licking good! Sally, I hear something. Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh, no! Franklin! Oh, God! Don't run to the house! Don't run to that house! He's like, well, that's where I live. Making this very convenient for me. <laughs> ah, I forgot about that. Goddamn right, you'd just be like, fuck it! He's like, Jesus! Never had meat run this fast! That's good, I like that. Thank God fucking Leatherface is so fucking big. He, he, he'll, he, he, he's running. He's running as fast as he can, but he's like, God damn, girl, you're fast. <laughs> oh, shit. Not out of What do you want? There's no need to do that. It's like, you pretty much had her. The thing is, like, he, 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 got, he got too fucking excited. That's why I put goddamn sack. Broom tack! Broom tack! Broom tack! Beating the fuck out of a broom. Boom attack, chat. 
Hi. Those are some fresh looking hands, too. You got it, Grandpa. You got it. Uh, Grandma's having some issues, chat. It's like, fuck, all right, give me a goddamn second. Christ. She's like, fuck you guys! Yeah, she loves leaping through windows, chat. That's her thing. You're like, what the fuck, dude? Fuck you! Yeah, get what he fucking deserves. Hell yeah. He's like, ah, oh, fuck that! <laughs> he gets back inside the truck. Great things they did. He, he did. Look at him, he's just fucking... This guy's like the MVP of the movie! <laughs> oh yeah, gets his own goddamn leg. That's right. He's like, get your ass in, girl! Just swing the chainsaw in the air like this, yeah. There you go, chap. That's it. That's how the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original 1974 film directed by Toby Hooper. And so I, I recommend checking out uh, the prequel, not prequel, excuse me, the, the remake. The first remake came out in 2003. Entertaining movie. Kind of expands on this. Actually, it's kind of like, both of these are kind of like, you know, those, those movies are neck and neck for me. Very enjoyable films. Um... Some people like the second one. I'm not a big fan, but... You know, teach them, of course. Yeah, but hey! This is a very fun audio commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye!